Folks, my next guest, she won an Emmy for her work as the man crazy Sandra Clark on 227. Now she's raising twins on Sister Sister. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack A. Harry. <laughs> Promise me no fishing stories. I'm not taking my jacket off. All right. <laughs> or letting down my hair. Or drinking any of this. <laughs> Is that his cup? That's not his cup. <laughs> we switched it. I promise you. It's just straight gin. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. How are you? Did, you? did you fly in here from Los Angeles, California to be with us? LAX. Evening? Very nice. I hate flying. Oh, very not nice then. <laughs> Who likes flying? Besides Peter. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent work. Excellent work. Touche, my friend. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't enjoy it. It makes me feel bad, you know. Bad in, in what way? Fatalistic, like something's gonna happen. Oh. Like, that's what everybody does. Yeah, I guess so. You know, nobody wants to admit it, but I'm like, like this on the flight. Are, people, are the people that sit next to you aware of this? Do you, no? No. You, you leave them alone? Yeah, I let them go to sleep. All right. <clears throat> Nothing works for me, though. I just don't like it. But when I have to, I can do it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you did it and, and you came in here with us, uh, with us now. And uh, I also heard that someone told me this, and I, I don't know, but your nickname is Yummy? No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't read that anyway. Um, <laughs> that's, no, that's an old nickname. That's an old nickname? Well, now, why did you change it from Yummy? Yummy seems like a... Because I got a new nickname. Well, let's have it. <clears throat> Biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> See, they got it already. They did get it. See, I, you know, these nicknames are so like, like Huggy Bear, or Biscuit, or, or Yummy, and yet uh, you were, you swore off any activity in sex. I, I heard I, you, didn't you say you, you weren't going to have sex anymore? Or that, didn't I, uh, I read that somewhere? To be honest, see, now I can get a little serious. All right. AIDS awareness has made me a little hedgy. I'm a little cautious. Sure, as we all so are. So I have to see the papers and get the papers back and send them back and make sure they came from the right person. Right. Was it legit? Who did you get them from? Where you know, the body I'm suit, over exaggerating, the whole thing. Yeah. but it's true. So that led, that led me to be celibate. For how long? And then I enjoyed it. After being about a, celibate? For about three weeks, and I said, oh, this is nice. You get real sharp. And after about a month and a half, you get real sharp. <laughs> then after a couple of months, you go, oh. <laughs> Yeah. A so couple of months good. was it? Uh, three months. Wow. I'm lying. <laughs> about two months. It was about two months, and you started climbing the walls. No, I climbed up. Uh, I don't want to hear names. <laughs> I don't want to hear names, Biscuit. But they said, did, did, did you see any effects of it? Where, where, did you feel better? Oh, sure. Is it like stopping yeah. smoking? I mean, my what's it like? My skin was fabulous, radiant. Uh, my mind was quick, crafty, witty. Uh, see, so think if we all gave up sex, we might be able to solve many of the world's problems. No, we honey, just... there'd be fights going on right outside your door. People would be fighting in the street. Are you kidding? You need sex. Good oh sex. God, do we need? Yeah. We don't need bad sex. Yeah. We do. We don't need bad sex. Better no sex than bad sex. Well, I have to argue with that, but um. Oh, you any sex, huh? Oh, John. Yeah, no. as they say, it's like pizza. You know, it's. Uh oh, you know. I'm scared to ask. How's it like pizza? Well, even when it's bad pizza, it's still pizza. You still. You know what I mean? Oh, that's low. When it's bad pizza, you still eat it. Oh, I see. No, not that. <laughs> That is a He's tremendous so laugh you have. He's turning red. I am turning That's red. That's fabulous. Come on, biscuit. Ah! Okay, biscuit. All right, yeah, there we go. You better not call me that. You might get results. Oh, really? <laughs> biscuit, biscuit, biscuit. <laughs> that sounds like a southern nickname. Is that a southern nickname? Does that come from, uh, no? Mm -mm. Is that where you come? Are you from the south? Oh, yeah, I'm from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. But it comes from a people up pushing me like that. And oh, a little Pillsbury dough action. Yeah, when they push me, I... I don't want to hear what happens after this question. <laughs> yeah. What was it like? Did, did you grow up down in, uh, what is that, the Research Triangle or something? Or, no, that's <laughs> Raleigh. That's Raleigh. No, Durham. not really. I moved to New York when I was nine, so I'm more like a New York girl. Right. Southern New York, now I'm L.A. Now you're L.A. and working on the show. Yeah. The Sister Sister, very popular. Yeah. It's going very nice. It's nicely. about twins. You said I'm raising twins. I'm like, oh, God, I'm raising twins. I'm a mother. It's no. Uh, uh, one is mine and one is Tim Reed's. We adopted them at birth. They oh, okay. didn't know that they were twins. They were separated, so we adopted them and they met in a mall at age 14. So we moved in with him from the Detroit ghetto projects. We moved in with him to his suburbia, sprawling estate, and we hate each other and the girls love each other, so now we're trying to live together. Dysfunctional. 
That's a very complicated, whatever happened to he's a guy living with two girls and Mr. Roper's upset about it. Whatever happened to the, you know, those simple. Okay, I'm, I'm sort of like a, 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 what do you call it? Excommunicated Donna Reed. Oh, is that what you are? So you're yeah. the, the wicked one on the show. Do they know Donna Reed? They're so young. They don't know who Donna Reed is, do you? They don't know who Donna Reed is. They're still in shock. <laughs> <laughs> from Peter. Right, from things going on <laughs> earlier today. So you're enjoying yourself and things are going very nicely. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. This is very nice being here. Well, when are you going to come back and see us again? <clears throat> I don't know. You better fly back soon. <laughs> okay. All right, Biscuit. It was very nice to talk to you. <laughs> I really like that. Jack A. Harry, everybody, Sister Sister, is on every Wednesday night on ABC. We'll be back with Mark Maron, comedian, very funny, stick around.